Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na ito ay tuturo ko sa inyo ang solving polynomial equations. So kung gusto nyo ito ang matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo kung paano mag-solve ng polynomial equations. So dito sa pagsasolve natin ng polynomial equations, gagamitin natin yung natutunan natin about rational roots theorem as well as yung synthetic division and even quadratic formula. So, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood, isilink ko na lang para ma-check nyo. Okay? So, dito sa polynomial equation, meron tayong polynomial equated to zero. So, pag sinabi natin polynomial, pwede siyang magkaroon ng certain degree. So, sa particular problem sa isasolve natin is mag-start tayo sa third degree pataas. So, pwede third degree, fourth degree, fifth degree, and so on. So, yung solution or yung roots natin dito sa polynomial equation is nakadepende sa degree. So, kung ano yung degree ng polynomial equation natin, yun din yung number ng solutions. Or yun din yung number ng values ng x na masasolve natin. Okay? So, let's try to solve some examples. So, for the first problem, we have solve the equation for x. x cubed minus 2x squared minus x plus 2 equals 0. Okay, so since naka-equate naman na yung ating polynomial equation sa 0, pero na tayo mag-proceed sa step. So, unang step is i-identify natin yung possible rational roots, applying rational roots theorem. So, hanapin ko yung P. Ito yung mga factors nung constant natin. So, factors nung constant natin na 2 is pwedeng plus minus 1 and plus minus 2. Right? And then yung Q, hanapin ko rin. Ito naman yung factors, yung numerical coefficient nung leading term natin na x cubed. So, yung numerical coefficient natin is 1, right? So, ang factors niya is plus minus 1 lang. And then, by rational roots theorem, yung mga possible roots is yung quotient ng P over Q. So, divide lang natin itong mga P sa Q. So, dahil yung Q natin is plus minus 1 lang, ibig sabihin, pag divide natin yung bawat P dito, laging same din yung magiging P over Q natin sa P. So, P over Q is plus minus 1 and plus minus 2 pa rin. Okay? And then, ang next step is trial and error using synthetic division. So, pipili tayo dito, one at a time, dun sa mga possible rational roots natin, itong plus minus 1 and plus minus 2, at itetest natin kung factor ba ito, or ibig sabihin, roots ito, nung ating polynomial equation, kapag yung remainder is zero. Okay? So, sige. Tatry kong gamitin itong kahit ano naman eh. Pwede yung, let's say, negative 2 muna. So, by synthetic division, isusulat ko yung numerical coefficients, right? So, numerical coefficients ng polynomial natin is 1, negative 2, negative 1, positive 2, right? And then, pipiliin ko yung number dito sa upper right is negative 2. So, kahit anong piliin nyo, pinili ko lang negative 2. Okay? So, trial and error to Ibig sabihin, pwede tayo mag-expect na magkakaroon tayo ng zero remainder at hindi zero na remainder. So, kung hindi zero yung remainder, ibig sabihin hindi yon roots. Pero kung zero yung remainder, ibig sabihin root yon Okay? So, by synthetic division, bring down ko itong 1. And then, multiply 1 times negative 2, negative 2. Then, add negative 2 plus negative 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8. Then, negative 1 plus 8 is positive 7. 7 times negative 2 is negative 14. And then, 2 plus negative 14 is negative 12. So, itong huling number na nakuha natin, ito yung remainder, right? Which is hindi 0. So, therefore, hindi root itong negative 2. So, remember, tatanggapin lang natin na root is yung magkakaroon ng remainder na 0. Okay? Sa so, palitan ko. Try ko naman yung iba. Let's say, positive 1. Okay? So, synthetic division ulit. So, bring down ko itong 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus negative 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Then, 2 plus negative 2 is 0. Ayun. So, 0. So, ibig sabihin, automatically, itong x is equal to 1 is a root or solution. Okay? So, remember, isa pa lang ito. Meron tayong third degree polynomial sa so dapat tatlo yung roots natin or solution. So, saan natin isasolve yun? This time, yung mga numerical coefficients na to, which is marireduce na siya sa quadratic, right? 
Kasi parang finactor natin ito eh, sa x minus 1. Kasi x is equal to 1 is a root. Right? So, ang next step is, i-rewrite natin yung second degree polynomial now using this numerical coefficient. So, x squared minus x minus 2 equals 0. So, i-equate nyo pa rin sa 0. So, this time, quadratic na lang, right? So, pwede na natin i-apply dito yung any method sa natutunan natin sa pagsasolve ng roots ng quadratic equation. Okay? So, try natin kung factorable. So, factor natin. So, pwede siyang ma-factor, right? So, 2 and 1. So, negative, positive, equal 0. So, since factorable siya, factoring yung ginamit ko. Pero in case na hindi factorable yung resulting quadratic equation, gamitin nyo na lang yung quadratic formula. Okay? Kasi minsan magkakaroon kayo ng imaginary roots dun eh. Okay? So, equating each factor to 0. So, we have x plus 1 is equal to 0 and x minus 2 is equal to 0. So, natin ito for x. So, we have x is equal to negative 1 and x is equal to 2. So, therefore, ito na yung tatlong roots or solution ng polynomial equation. x is equal to 1, x is equal to negative 1, and x is equal to 2. Okay? Next, we have solve x to the 4th plus x cubed minus 3x squared equal 4x plus 4. Okay, so since hindi pa naka-equate sa 0 yung polynomial equation natin, is equate muna natin sa 0. So, itatanspose ko itong 4x saka positive 4 sa left side. So, magiging x to the 4th plus x cubed minus 3x squared minus 4x minus 4 equals 0. Okay, again, hanapin natin yung possible rational roots. So, this time meron tayong 4th degree, right? So, expect natin meron tayong 4 roots or solutions. So, hanapin ko yung P, yung factors ng constant natin na negative 4 is plus minus 1, plus minus 2, and plus minus 4. And then yung Q, yung factors ng numerical coefficient ng leading term natin na x to the 4th. So, numerical coefficient is 1, factors nga is just plus minus 1. Therefore, ang P over Q natin uli, dahil yung Q natin is plus minus 1 lang, is equal pa rin sa P. So, we have plus minus 1, plus minus 2, and plus minus 4. So, again, trial and error uli. By synthetic division, pipili tayo ng number dito sa possible rational roots natin. So, try ko is positive 2. So, sulat ko yung mga coefficients ng polynomial. So, we have 1, 1, negative 3, negative 4, and negative 4. And then, ang pipiliin ko nga is 2. Okay? So, it's up to you kung anong piliin nyo. Basta, ang goal nyo is mahanap nyo yung number na magkakaroon ng remainder na 0. Ibig sabihin na root yun. So, by synthetic division, bring down ko muna itong 1. Then, 1 times 2 is 2. Add natin, 1 plus 2 is 3. Multiply, 3 times 2 is 6. Add natin, negative 3 plus 6 is positive 3. Multiply 3 times 2, positive 6. Add negative 4 plus 6 is positive 2. Then, 2 times 2 is 4. Add negative 4 plus 4 is 0. Okay, so therefore, 0 yung remainder natin. Ibig sabihin, itong x is equal to 2 is a root. Okay? So, meron na tayong isang root. Kailangan pa natin ng tatlo. So, this time, kukuhain natin yung numerical coefficient na to para sa reduced cubic polynomial now. So, kasi na-factor na natin yung isa. So, magiging cubic na tayo. So, magiging x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 2 equals 0 ulit. Okay? So, ngayon, try, trial and error ulit tayo. So, pag kinuha natin yung p, we have factors ng constant na 2 is plus minus 1 and plus minus 2. And then yung Q, factors ng numerical coefficient ng x cubed is 1. So, plus minus 1. So, P over Q is plus minus 1 and plus minus 2. So, try ko naman is negative 2. By synthetic division ulit, trial and error, hanapin natin yung magiging remainder na 0. So, sulat ko yung numerical coefficient. So, we have 1. 3, 3, and 2. So, pipili tayo sa rational roots, let's say, negative 2 naman. Okay? 
So, by synthetic division, bring down ko yung 1, then multiply 1 times negative 2, negative 2, add 3 plus negative 2 is positive 1, multiply 1 times negative 2, negative 2, add 3 plus negative 2 is 1, then multiply 1 times negative 2 is negative 2, then add 2 plus negative 2 is 0. So, therefore, 0 yung remainder natin, ibig sabihin, itong x is equal to negative 2, i root 10. Sa so, meron na tayong dalawang roots, x is equal to 2 and x is equal to negative 2. So, dalawa na lang. So, makukuha naman natin yon this time sa reduced quadratic equation using the numerical coefficients na 1, 1, 1. Okay? Sa so, pag sinulat natin to into quadratic, magiging x squared plus x plus 1 equal pa rin sa 0. So, ngayon, isasolve natin tong quadratic equation using yung mga techniques natin. So, hindi ito factorable, right? So, gamit tayong quadratic formula. So, remember, yung quadratic formula is x is equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Kung saan yung a natin is yung numerical coefficient ng x squared, which is 1, b, numerical coefficient ng x term, which is 1 then and then c, yung constant, which is 1. So, therefore, x is equal to substitute natin. Negative b, so negative 1, plus minus square root of b squared, so 1 squared, minus 4a, 1, c, 1 then over 2 times a, which is 1. So, we have x is equal to negative 1, plus minus square root of 1 squared is 1, minus 4 times 1 times 1 is 4, over 2 times 1 is 2. Or, x is equal to negative 1 plus minus square root of 1 minus 4, negative 3, over 2. Okay, so meron tayong negative radicand sa square root. Ibig sabihin, meron tayong imaginary number or complex conjugate root, right? So, magiging x is equal to negative 1 plus minus square root of negative 3 is magiging i square root of 3, right? Over 2. So, pag sineparate natin, x is equal to negative 1, kunin natin yung positive, so plus i square root of 3 over 2, and then isa pa is x is equal to negative 1, kunin naman natin yung minus i square root of 3 over 2. So, ito yung dalawang roots natin. Okay? Tapos, yung dalawa kanina, x is equal to negative 2 and x is equal to 2. So, total of 4 na yung nakuha nating roots. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video, solving polynomial equations. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panunood.